Hey, it's Jessie from Squeegee and Ink. In this video, I'm going to give you the full review of the MR Cruiser, which is this, our carousel. We've had it for over two years now, and we just feel like we've done so many combinations of different designs and shirts. I think we know everything there is to know about the Cruiser. We got this piece of kit from Screen Print World because we're in the UK and we used our own discount code which is CRP5 to get some money off. You can definitely use that code as well. Let's get into the next part of the video where we're going to tell you the reasons why we purchased it, some tips and tricks and I'm also going to run through a little bit of troubleshooting with you. This is the design that we're going to be printing today. It's the Fake Jack six color design. And I just wanted to let you know that we fund our YouTube channel through the sale of our Blind Maggot shirts. And Blind Maggot is our own brand. And we want to give all of our Squeegee viewers a massive 10 pounds off every shirt when you enter the code Squeegee at checkout. And I'll put that in the description below as well. Here are a few reasons why we chose the Cruiser. The first being is that it's got a very small footprint, so it just doesn't take up very much room in your studio. We're in quite a tight little space here, but I've definitely seen Cruisers in garages and really confined areas. We did have a look at the Chameleon, which is another m and press, but it was gonna be able to hold more screens, but again, it was just, it was gonna be a bit too filling in this space. So we'd have to like work around it. So having this really tiny footprint is a massive advantage for us. The next point is that the Cruiser is one of the top range manual presses. We want to stay manual screen printers because we're not interested in getting into the mass production side of it. And another thing is that we would have to move premises if we wanted to go automatic. One, because of the large footprint of the machine, which I talked about, and also you have to get specialist electric supplies, which we weren't interested in doing. So we're gonna to stick to manual printing and just become specialists in this area. The next consideration for us was gonna be picking a press that's really robust. This one is just sturdy, and also this is a really good little feature of it that we really wanted is the fact that it holds the screens all the way down the sides on both ends. Because our previous one just held it for a small segment at one side, and there's always a little bit of movement which we weren't happy about. So this having these sturdy edges in conjunction with the micro edge just means that it's really, really foolproof when you're printing. Before we had this press, we had a four color one station, and that meant that we could do up to four colors in a print job but we needed more capacity and we wanted to print more colors in it, every design. So we felt like limited by that. So now we've gone for the six color four platen and the platens actually move with this one as well. So that just means you can print a lot quicker. You can do, you're not limited by the amount of colors in the design really. And you can also be loading on shirts as the other person's printing, which just speeds everything up. When it came to doing our research, when we're upgrading our kit, the Cruiser was the most competitively priced on the market and it still had all the specs that we needed to keep up with demand in the studio. The last consideration for us choosing the Cruiser from m and for our studio was that that is a trusted manufacturer and they've already gone to all the effort of making all the platens. They're interchangeable so you can do the sleeve, the little platen and they're already pre-made. So there's no more of that making your own platens because you can't get the right size for your press. I'm going to run you through all the benefits and features of the Cruiser. So I'm going to start off with these side clamps. So these are really handy and they run almost halfway up the screen and they're basically holding it really sturdy in place with four handheld screws there. So it's very tight and that screen is going nowhere. So that's something that we can rely on as printers. The next element is this micro registration. So once you've got it almost registered, that just allows you to do three points of contact where you can tilt it diagonally in both directions and also left to right. 
Let's talk about those platens, because sometimes when you're printing, you need different size platens for different garments. So they've made it really easy. There's just four of these little yellow clamps, and then you, you're just free to slide that platen off. Another point is that these platens actually spin round. So that's really useful because this platen could be spinning round, getting flashed, and then I can get to this one and I can print that design. So I'm just never stopping and it's just all going around at the same time. The platens and the screens are actually independent of each other. So I can spin them at different rates and really get going on that printing while somebody else is loading the shirts potentially. m and have also built in these rulers so they're stuck onto the arms where the platens are. Another cool thing is that it's got this really easy to, to twist off contact measurement there. So that's going to lift your screen above the platen area so that you can quickly adapt to printing from t-shirts to thicker items like a hoodie, for example. So let's talk about troubleshooting with the cruiser. The only thing that we've actually come into contact with is when you've tightened everything up, you've put the micro reg latches on nice and tight, then you go to look at your screen again and it's like jumped very slightly. So it's put your print off register. So we did kind of deal with that for a little bit, but then we spent about an hour trying to figure it out. And what we realized was that we've over tightened one of these bolts at the back of the cruiser. So the micro edge is basically fighting against each other itself and it's just too tight. So we just loosened that off and then the problem went away because we were able to tighten the registration. It stayed there and it even stays there when you lift the screen up and return it back in place. So that's pretty much the only thing we've ever found fault with with the cruiser and it's an easy fix. I just want to finally give you a few tips on when it comes to actually purchasing your cruiser. So the first thing that I want to recommend is going to a reputable supplier. So in the UK that would be Screen Print World. And you can use our discount code which is CRP5 just to get a little bit of money off. We also took them up on their offer of their engineer coming and building the press in our studio. We thought that was really useful just because we don't really know what we're doing with building presses. He's done it a hundred times and he laid it out perfectly, made it all flush and um, level all the way through. Another really important thing to think about is to have your main printer or yourself present as he's setting up that press because he's going to adjust the height and all the platens to fit the person who's actually printing with that press the most. So that's just a really cool little thing to have in mind just before you're getting your press delivered. Another little cool thing we figured out is actually when you get your new platens, if you draw directly on the platens with these guidelines and you can even put in the neckline, then you're only ever going to have to do that once. So just draw on your lines as soon as you get your platens and then you're not going to have to redo it every time you come to changing up that platen mask. Let's get printing these shirts so that you can see the cruiser in action.
I've just finished printing this six color design on the cruiser and we're really happy with it. It was pretty easy to register, quite smooth. Um, we, our test came out perfect, so then we just kind of went for it. It was nice and quick printing and the registration held up from the first shirt right through to the end with no issues or problems. And um, we were just really happy with it. We, can, we know that we can rely on that piece of kit and just, um, yeah, after, after the initial setup, we trust it and we know it's going to do a good job. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you hit subscribe, then you'll be notified of our next video. Um, just to remind you, this design is from our own collection, which is our own brand, Blind Maggot. And you can find these limited edition shirts at blindmaggot.co.uk. We're also giving all of our squeegee viewers a £10 discount when they buy these shirts. So you just write squeegee in the, dis in the checkout to get some money off. Um, please like the video and also ask any questions in the comments below. One of the reasons we chose the crew, the crew but this is the, the um, blind maggot shirt and you can get this um, with, sorry, I'm really sorry. <laughs>